morning to you ladies, my name is Jack Septiguy and welcome back to Faith! We're on to chapter two, Father Jack is going back into business and I am going to exercise the demons. Y'all ready to do some exercising today? I sure am, let's, uh, let's just get into it, I guess. Uh, I don't have a continue, just start the game. I... Oh god, we're right in this time. Alright, how long do you think it's gonna be before I get more days? Alright, Father Garcia, you are hereby instructed to release Michael Davies from your custody and return him to his home immediately. Mr. and Mrs. Davies have already been contacted by our office. A representative of the church is currently en route to their home to discuss comp compensation in return for their discretion. You will meet our representative there and accompany him back to Rome. Cardinal Gifford. Whatever, man! I got a- I got a cross! I had the power of Jesus on my side. I'm a Jesus so hard today. Can I get my Bible? It's right in the middle of my bed. Did I sleep with the Bible? All right, maybe I should exercise the toilet for what I did last night to it. It needs a lot of holy water in that cistern right now to get rid of the absolute hellish abomination that I left in the porcelain. All right, moving on. Love you, Bible. One day. What? Am I? Am I holding this person prisoner? Two weeks? Oh god, their possessions. Okay, what's it gonna look like? What's it gonna look like? This is my face, one day on possession. This is my face, two weeks on possession. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's about right. What's up? Alright. Let's get Spooky. This looks kinky. How are we doing today, Michael? I like to talk on. You talk to who about you, you get better, Michael. Can I see mommy and daddy? I need to make you better first. Let's go see what you get for me. Okay. Oh, hell yeah. If you find it to be people. <laughs> they got me a pendejo? Does that mean dickhead in Spanish? Or Portuguese, I don't know. <laughs> you know, now that you're strapped to my bed, most people call a priest father, but you can call me daddy. Out, demon! Out! The power of Christ compels you! This is the power of the Lord! <gasps> That's the one from the first game! The creepy demon that I shot! Is this a prequel? Are you here, demon? Oh, demon! The power of Jesus! Oh, he went downstairs! Or upstairs, it's hard to tell in a 2D plane. Where are you, Mikey? You stole your picture! Why did you steal the picture? All right, maybe he liked that one. Maybe he thought he looked cute. He's gonna post it to demon Instagram. Mikey, how's it going? Dancing? Oh God. <laughs> Who did you eat? Wow. <laughs> it's 2 a.m. Ah, oh, yes! Father All Blue is back! That's the priest I know and love. That's the Jesus that I had the power of last time. Okay. The power of Christ compels me. The power of Christ compels me. Exercise this tree. The power of the Lord! Ah! Jesus. Wait, no, that's not Jesus. That was a deer. Oh, that does not look like a holly jolly Christmas. Is that bits of a deer in a tree? Notice, Aviso, the current investigation being conducted at Gallup Cemetery by the State of Connecticut Historical Society has been postponed until further notice. In the interim, or the interim, we ask the public to avoid the cemetery grounds, the surrounding moods, woods. 
In this fight, the M's look like W's and W's look like M's. In the moods. <laughs> oh, that that's big moods out there. Any wildlife and any unidentified persons roaming the area, thank you for your patience. Oh, I'm going to explore the moods. Oh, hell yeah. This is already so fucking awesome. I know I joke around a lot playing these games, but I, I genuinely love them. Do, 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 Christ. Power of the Lord? Power of the Lord. Jesus compels you. Ha ha! I found you, you dang dirty demon! It's always demons, Sammy. It's always demons, damn dirty demon, damn. Alright, what does these dang dirty demons' diary say? I shook hands with the devil. I looked him in the eye. He looked like a long lost friend. Turns out it was just my friend Billy. People said he had a very Satan look about him. Dearest disciple, verily, not everyone who says Lucifer, Lucifer, shall inherit his kingdom. You must first conjure his demon. You must then serve his demon. You must then walk among the children of men as his demon. Thus shall you receive the blessing of the unspeakable. Return to the safe family tomb whenever you are in need of rest. Gary! Hear thee! The name demon Satan Lucifer cometh! Your friend Gary. Is this one of demons? No. Alright, down into the prospector's tomb we go. Oh, I'm gonna Jesus so hard right now. Enter the spirit house. Oh. Hi. Is this a save point? Oh. You guys don't look so good. You look like, actually... You look like the greatest heavy metal band that's about to hit the scene. What? The fuck just happened? <laughs> I just... I just looked myself in the mirror and said, <laughs> I have a key. Alright, what do you guys look like now? Same? Long day, huh? I fucking hate Mondays as well, guys. Oh, everywhere's open now. Cool. Well, not everywhere, but enough. Any dang dirty demons? Out, demons! The power of the Lord! I found you! Dang, dirty, ghosty, dusty boy. It is with great sadness that the Sterling community announces the passing of Cindy Marie Martin, 38, and Robert Kimball Martin. Hey, those are the parents, right? 40. Devoted husband and wife and beloved parents. Their lives tragically came to an end on September 21st due to an accident in their home. Did the demon get them? They're, the Martins were the house I was in in the first game. Bob was a training advisor for the United States Navy and Cindy was a CPA and more recently a stay-at-home mother. They were married March 12, 1969. Nice. In Voluntown, though not particularly religious, they taught their children to be kind, generous and involved in the community. A public closed casket, casket memorial will be held at Tillingast. Funeral home. At 10 a.m. Thursday, burial services will proceed. Bob and Cindy are survived by their daughter, Amy, and twin boys, Nate and Jason. There's more of them. Nate was the demon in the picture. Or maybe Nate drew the picture, actually. That makes more sense now. Remember, we saw the picture in the fridge and it said Nate on it. Demons? Dang dirty demon ghosty boys? Smelly little stinky boys? Okay. Ha-ha. <laughs> Just like the 1st of January, it's back to exercising. Alright, cool. <coughs> I wish Father All Blue could get a pep in his step sometimes, though. Oh, it moved! Who did that? Ghosts? Ghost boys? Ah! Okay. <laughs> You gotta keep your eyes peeled. Jesus operates in mysterious ways. Oh Jesus, fuck! I'm a you're a you're a what? 
Oh god. Back away, demon! I have the power of Jesus and his special friends! Fuck! <laughs> there it is. Okay, okay, okay. It's demon time! My old lantern! My old lantern? I got him! Fucked him up! Damn ghosts! Can't get past Father Jack! I have the power of the Lord! Alright, what does this say? Nobody was thrilled when I got pregnant. Not even a little happy. Even my doctor seemed to be judging me. Each time I'd leave the doctor's office, I'd see this strange woman across the street. All she'd do is stare at me and smile. No words. Just a big, warm... Smile. Somehow, it made those visits a little more bearable. After I lost the baby, I saw her again across the street from the doctor's. Her smile was as big as ever. But somehow, not as warm and friendly as I remember. Yesterday I was walking and was shocked to see the woman standing in the middle of the path. Now she was pregnant. She beckoned towards me. I followed her off the path into the moods. That's when I met Gary. Did I just kill Gary? Okay, cool. That's one facet of this area down. Let's go back in and maybe... Oh, someone's missing. <gasps> These are the people I'm killing. I, that first guy was Gary! Probably not, but... Okay. Power of the Lord! Moving on. Okay, so there's four sets of eyes. One of them has gone out. There's three people, and one of them has gone. I'm starting to sense a pattern. Moving on. There's priest's work to be done, and it's good work. Alright, any of you guys dang dirty ghosties? Smelly stinky boys? Okay, you guys are clear. You're pointing this way. And you're pointing up, you're pointing that way, and you're pointing up. I'm gonna just... I'm just going this way. Oh, it's one of these. So they go right, up, left, up? If they're in order? Or up, left, up, right? How about take a picture of these motherfuckers? It's either one way or the other. Let's try... Up, left, up, right. Any ghosty ghoulies? Alright, up. Will it let me know if I'm going the right way? Or is this already proof that I'm doing it wrong? Well, we're about to find out, aren't we? Mortis. All right, me been thinking that I doing it wrong. So maybe right, up, left, double up? Wait, what's down here? I don't trust- Oh god! What the fuck is that? Yeah, it's fucking weird is what it is. Get it! Where is it? Oh god! Ah! Power of the Lord! You just got Jesus, motherfucker! That's what you get for not saying your prayers. Losing Grandpa was the hardest thing I ever experienced. We were really close. I cried about it for weeks. Then my stepmom introduced me to some of her friends. They asked me, would you like to see your grandfather again? I missed him so much, I was willing to try anything. Oh, that's how you... You invite the demon in, it's gonna fuck you up. You invite a stranger into your house, you're gonna eat all your biscuits. That night, my stepmom drove me to one of her friends' house. They took me down to the basement. I saw my grandfather in there, only it wasn't actually him. When I tried to run, they closed the basement door and locked me in. I can't remember much else from that night. My stepmom's friends are always coming by the house now. They tell me I have a debt to pay. They say they have work for me to do. This is getting very, um, hereditary and paranormal activity. Like, oh, the heads are gone. The fuck? So let's try right, up, left, up. I don't know. Oh, wait. Oh, yeah. Okay, so the one that's pointing right on the far left, ironically, has this casket on it, and that was the one in the first area. 
So you just have to go in the direction of where the caskets are. So I have to go right first, and then I have a picture of it because I'm a smarty. So this casket is the one that the right one is pointing at. Or not. Oh! Somebody showed up! I see! Okay, shit. Oh god, oh god, oh god. Too close! Hey, that wasn't so hard. So the thing was right. It was right up, or right up, left up, and then it worked. I thought I tried that. That didn't work before. Whatever. Uh, I've been freed. No more overbearing father turned violent alcoholic. No more hiding my bruises and cuts. No more pills and needles. No more getting laughed at and kicked around. They'll never laugh at me again. By day, my body withers away, but by night, my mind explores forbidden worlds of power and knowledge guided by beings of pure darkness. I've been trusted with secret knowledge of the demon seal. I have learned the correct conjuring sign, drawing the inverted star along the rocks arranged in five. First at the top left point, and then down. I will lure them into the woods, uh, sorry, the moods. Then I will show them my power. Okay. Sensing some trauma. Got it. Gotta start somewhere for your satanic rituals. Um, oh, this is all fucked up looking now. Oh, they're all gone now. Oh, I can see myself in the reflection already. Oh yeah, because I, I just killed two more demons. Alright. What have you got to say for yourself? Oh! <laughs> Wait, I'm actually bleeding? Wait, use the crucifix. Put the crucifix over your eye, the power of Christ! It lacked as a band-aid. Oh, now I'm just bleeding all over the place. Nice! Okay, what's a dang dirty ghosties in here? Ghosties? Oh, fuck! Tree just came alive and left. <laughs> My god, imagine if the trees could fight back. Global warming would be a lot different. This is- this is The Happening by M. Night Shyamalan. Alright. Does one of these have a giveaway? Is there something in one of these trees that's different? If there is, I'm not seeing it. Just use the power of the Lord on all of them. That'll get him. Oh, it's fucking dead silent though. Oh god, how close do I have to be to a death tree? Oh god! It's none of them! What the fuck was that? She guards the door to the underground purgatory. I hath not seen her. Children fear her. Okay, but I want to know who my purple friend was. The purple guy from Five Nights at the Freddy's? I had to come back. I had to walk through the corn one last time. I wasn't sure what I would find. The dogs, the children, the thing that took them. It had been five years. I couldn't even find the little graves anymore. I just walked in the field until I found that stupid grinning scarecrow. As I listened to the night wind blowing through the crops, it was like the scarecrow was mocking me. I turned around to go back and that's when I heard it behind me. Well, it was more like I felt it. I didn't dare turn around, we just stood there. Me, the Scarecrow, and the Doomed Child. Finally, I mustered up a tiny bit of courage and turned to look. It immediately fled in the opposite direction, crashing through the rows of corn. I ran too. What little I saw of it drained the blood from my face and made my skin crawl. I say it, because whatever I was looking at didn't have a face. Just a bloody, gaping hole. That's what we saw! In the first game, that's what Amy looked like. She just had a, a red hole in her face. Okay, I finally mustered up a tiny bit of courage and turned to look. I immediately, it immediately fled in the opposite direction. Do I have to actually do that? Alright, power of Jesus. Spread some Jesus all over this cornfield. 
That's a nice cornfield, bud. I'll tell you that right now. All right, we must be in Iowa. Motherfuckers love their corn. Which is funny, is because Slipknot's there from there and not corn. Confess thy sins. I'm sorry, I stole a pack of chewing gum when I was six. <laughs> Day one of our paranormal investigation into the old Snake Meadow Hill Church. So I'm still in the same area. We've got three cameras, a box of tapes, and enough beer and beef jerky to last us a week. On our way in, we asked some of the locals about the church. It was mostly the stories we had heard before. Evil spirits dragging children into the cornfield and secret tunnels under the chapel. But there was this spindly lady game that we hadn't heard yet. Apparently, it has to do with summoning the spirit of a woman who used to take care of the orphans back in the 50s. There was even an old rhyme they told us. Walk the church from room to room, and maybe you will see her. She will move when you do, but never try to trick her. Awesome! We're going to try the game tonight as soon as we get settled in. So, walk the church from room to room, and you might see her. She will move when you do, but never try to trick her. I don't know what that means. I'm probably going to get stuck, but at least I can exercise everything. You guys are going to be so fit. You're going to get your steps in. Aha. I knew something felt ghostly in here. I could smell it with my sniffers. Night two. We're going to be rich. We've caught supernatural stuff on camera before. Sure, doors opening on their own, things falling off shelves. But nothing like this. Tonight. While we were trying the spindly lady game again, one of the candles on the floor lit up by itself as soon as Lars walked into the room. It was nuts and we got it all on film. We're gonna make a fortune selling this to the TV stations. That is good! It's better that a candle lights up on the ground rather than the candle going out, because then you can't be like, Oh, maybe the wind blew it away in a second. Okay. There's something in this fucking square. What is it? Can I see it again? Oh, it's stairs. How do I get the stairs to stay theirs? Wait. Power of the Lord! Damn it. Ah! Oh, fucking Christ! Holy fucking grape nuts! Jesus Christ, that scared me. Okay, this room only has one candle in it again. <laughs> oh! Did I do good? Fuck, 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 fuck. Okay, get her while you can. Ah! Fuck, this is hard. <laughs> Oh, that was a good one. Yes! She either said heretic or you're a jerk. Either way, I don't take kindly to that. I only started using the cross because the screen like had a red shift in it. Did I use big smarty brain? Oh, and he- Ooh, fancy cross! Take that, this is the power of the Lord and- Oh, fuck! Something moved. Oh, they all moved! Power of the Lord. Can I interest you in the power of Jesus Christ? Okay, so it said that a, a candle came on and someone entered the room. Does that mean that every room that has a candle on in it is where the ghosty lady is? Maybe. Ahaha! Wait, what? Darkness surrounds thee. Ooh. This is my final memoir, hastily scribbled on a page of the good book. I now descend the staircase, knowing full well that she waits for me ahead. Checking my old watch has revealed something quite astonishing. Time doesn't change down here as we know it on the surface. Even now, the hands don't move past two. God's work be done. I have been to where only the faintest lights shine and protect from things unspeakable. God help me, Father Clark, a foolish old man, going mad in this dark prison, ears bleeding from the screams of the demon. Well, here on, on YouTube, we our ears bleed from 
the demon known as Jacksepticeye. Oh, I don't like that. Okay. Oh, I should get that as a tattoo! Right here, on my nose. How do I get out of this? What? I can't do anything. Oh, I just have to walk further. Never mind. Ah, oh, fuck! Do I actually have to do a thing with these? That felt very fucking bad! Mortis. Ah, don't give me the mortis! Okay, so I need to go to the corresponding symbol? Like whatever one I stand on, I have to go to the opposite one? Maybe- I'm taking a picture of this again. I don't know about you guys, but my memory's not that fucking good. Alright, let's step on this one. Okay. The swirly boy is not there. This seems fucking bad. I have no idea what's happening. Okay, let's just... Let's just... Let's... Uh, um... Hello? Oh fuck. Oh fuck. Oh fuck. Okay, what happens if I really wait? That's what I was afraid of. It's a big fucking giant blood monster coming from the depths of my ass. I don't know what to do. Which is fine. Sometimes in life you don't know what to do. Oh shit. Titties. Oh, there's a pattern. Oh, okay. Hey, I'm doing it. Uh, uh, ow! Hell yeah! So some of them triggered it and some of them didn't. Okay, that wasn't that hard. <laughs> I thought I had to look at the picture a bunch to figure something out, but it didn't really help me. Worth of demons! I don't think that that's what it says. Maybe it says the moods. Power of Christ. Power of Jesus. Jesus time. Come on, grab your friends. We're off to repent all of our sins. Okay, I'm back outside now. I don't know if I should be. I did it! The church is clear! Ah, oh, God, fucking deers! Oh, it's not clear. Three murdered in latest wave of ritualistic killings. Sterling, Connecticut. The bodies of three young people were discovered in the woods outside- Oh, sorry, the moods outside of Sterling last night in what authorities are calling a ritualistic murder. Sandra Atwood, Angel Nogales, and Troy Ingles are the names of the unfortunate victims who were apparently stabbed multiple times and beheaded before being killed in a paganistic ritual. Wait, you were stabbed multiple times and beheaded before being killed? Pandemonian Regnat Two of the victims' bodies were also partially burned, although authorities would not specify who. The bodies were found several miles from Gallup Cemetery, where residents reported a tomb had been desecrated. Uh, they also found trails of blood leading off into the woods. Investigators would not comment on whether or not these two incidents could be re related. Sorry. Uh, the arrangement of the bodies in a ritualistic pattern as well as the writing of certain symbols in blood matches the style of several murders that have occurred in the Sterling area since 1986. The killings may be connected to last week's brutal slaying of Amy Martin, a 17-year-old girl by John Ward. Whoops. Uh, Ward had impersonated a priest to gain Amy's trust before luring her into the, wo into the moods and killing her. Wait, am I at the end? I don't like that. Back, demon! <laughs> Investigators are asking residents to report any suspicious activity to the police. Authorities are urging the people of Sterling to not mourn the loss of Atwood, Nogales, and Inglis because, after all, they were degenerate devil-worshipping thugs 
who were hooked on crack cocaine and hated their parents. Jesus. Uh, why even conduct an investigation at all? That's what you would like them to think, wouldn't you, John? They were just three pathetic outcasts who got what they deserved. You actually did the community a favor when you found them getting high in that tomb. You stalked them through the graves and killed them one by one. You ignored their cries for help, and their pleas for mercy. You put holes in their ruined, drug-addicted bodies. And then you chopped off their heads because everyone knows that removing the head is the only real way to kill a snake. Well, guess what? You didn't kill the snake, John. You cannot kill what cannot be killed. Thou shalt not raise up what thou canst not put down again. Thou couldst not kill Amy. Thou shalt not destroy my works, for they are the works of the eternal dragon. Even now she is at thy door, her hand is at thy throat, yet you see her not. I will have thy soul, for I am the god of this world. Pandemonium regnant, satani vitae, pandemonium, okay. Okay. Oh god. Oh, that's fucking awesome! I'm here, John. <laughs> oh, fuck! Oh, shit! Am I a dang dirty demon? Did I become that which I swore to destroy? Oh, fuck. Hi. What's happening? I can't do anything. Whoa, 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 what? Hello? What the fuck is going on? Candy tunnel? Death awaits. Death awaits us all. Hey, that looks like a septic eye. <laughs> Doesn't it? That's a septic eye. There you go. I'm in the game. Okay. I know a septic eye needs to be exercised more than anybody. This music's fucking great, though. Is it time to exercise, demons? Oh, exercise. Get on that bike. Two more dead, discovered outside Candy Tunnel, near Sterling. The two people at the car? Two more bodies have been recovered from the drainage ditch under Snake Meadow Hill Road, outside Sterling. The notorious Candy Tunnel, known in the area to be a home of- to addicts, gangs, runaways, and the indignant- or indigent- has been the site of several grisly discoveries over the past three months. Since May, five bodies have been discovered from the drainage ditch leading to the tunnels. Authorities are being pressured by concerned citizens to search the tunnels amid fears of a possible connection to Joe Bowman, aka the candy store killer, who has claimed eight victims in Connecticut and Rhode Island over the past year. Jesus. What the fuck is going on in this game? This tunnel goes deep, Alice. Music is so fucking freaky! I saw that. I saw that. There was a red line up there. Something happened. There's somebody in the vents. In the in the drainage. Can I go in? There's an arrow pointing on it. Alright. It's fine. I have the power of Jesus on my side. Hey! In that top left one where the septic guy now says PMA. <laughs> nope. It just says when. When app, don't. When you, okay. When you see, don't move. When you see it, don't move. Right? Yeah. All right. Ah, oh, cause she moves when you move. 
And now this one says Sam! <laughs> it's all Jacksepticeye related. Oh, oh, oh! Oh, I was, I was like, wait, should I not move? And then it was walking towards me anyway. And then I moved. Anyway. Ah, stupid, stupid priest! Okay, wait. There's a dang bones down here. Time to exercise, bitch! Multiple officers wounded, one dead in sewer tunnel shootout. Law enforcement officials are reporting multiple officers down, including one deputy who was fatally wounded after an exchange of gunfire in the sewer tunnels near Snake Meadow Hill Road, also known as the Candy Tunnel. Witnesses say they heard the shots approximately 10 minutes after the police raided the tunnels where suspected murderer Joe Bowman, aka the candy store killer, was alleged to be hiding. At this time, it is not known how many officers have been wounded, although it has been confirmed that the officer has been killed. Officials are not saying if Bowman was wounded in the exchange, and efforts are being made to recover the casualties from the tunnels. Ooh, this is great! Alright, this time I won't move. Not moving. Not moving. Oh god, leave me alone, leave me alone, leave me alone, leave me alone! Oh, you fucking freaky weirdo! Is it safe? Can I move? Are the demons gone? Power of Christ. Oh, this one's open now. Ooh, cool. He went this way. The dang little red boy. Oh, there's water everywhere. And not a drop to drink. Oh, I don't like this. There's a lot of empty space on the left. All the more for my fat head to occupy. Dude, we did it. I don't know what it is, but we did it. Oh yeah. Oh, this is a demons for sure. It looks like a face with two eyes and a mouth going. <laughs> oh shit. Demons! It is I, Father All Blue, Father Jack. Feck our drink girls. Oh, I don't like this. Uh, oh. <laughs> what the fuck? What? How was I supposed to avoid that? I didn't even know what was happening. Oh, dang fucking sewer babies. Fucking little trash goblin. I'm sorry. God, please save me. Well, power of Christ. I have the power of the Lord. Didn't fucking save me. Okay, should I go the secret way? Or should I follow death, baby? I don't like this. I don't like this. I don't like any of this. Turn on the lights. Oh, I got a flashlight. Oh, that's what that is. Oh. Oh, fuck off. Get him. Get him. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, fuck. No. Stay away, Smelly. Oh, God. Where is he? Oh, fuck! Little purple man! Ah! Jesus, 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 fuck! Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha in my sights, you little fucker! Suffer the children? You suffer the fucking children! Hell yeah! Ain't no one mess with the power of the Lord! And a pump action shotgun. I really miss my shotgun. <laughs> okay. A little nudie man went running. Come back, nudie man. I want to squeeze those cheeks. Give me those buns. Wait, can I have a flashlight for this area now, please? Yes. Oh, this was all horrible last time I went through it. Okay. 
<laughs> Afraid of the light, are we? Did he just say he is here? What? What did that say? What did he call me? Oh god. Oh god. I fucking hate this. Oh god. They hate the light. I've noticed. They hate the light about as much as I hate the fucking dark. Yeah, stay away, fucker. God, there's a lot of them. Ah! Stay away! Back, dirty fiends! I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. Lure them into a corner. That's it. Back them off! Back, you smelly fucking hemorrhoids. Booyaka! Booyaka! I don't know what that did. Oh! Fuck, 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 fuck. That's good, right? I did it good? Just leave. Just leave. Fuck this. Fuck all of this. Fuck. Oh god. Can I have the key? Thank you! Oh. Satan, is that you? Wait, are there three seals that I have to do? A pentagram, a purple boy, and a beastie do. Okay, power of Christ. This is so freaky! This is so much scarier than the first game! Okay, so the key goes there. Got it. I see you! Get her! Ooh! Yeah! Power of Christ! Hell yeah, I got a fucking friend! The power of Jesus times two. Jesus squared. Yes, it's true what happened to Amy. You are no murderer. God, there is no but you could have God. But Amy bowed her soul is at rest. Let us go. Oh, that's nice. What about this lady's soul? Can we fuck her up? Oh, these animations are so freaky! Ah! Get her, dude! Power of Christ times two! Yep, what he- That's what- Oh. Alright, you're about to get a heaping helping serving of the Lord, bitch! Fucker! Jimmy, I'm sorry, I tried to save you! But you gotta be aware, man. There's like ghosty dudes everywhere. Okay, this is the strat. This is the strat. This has this has the best angles for everything. If they come left, right, up, down, I can just turn left or right and dodge them. Okay. The power of the Lord! I feel it, it flows. Oh, the waters turn into wine, the bread into fish. Got him! My poor friend is dead, though. Wait, what? Are oh, fucking Christ! <laughs> Holy fuck! <laughs> Scared the shit out of me. Uh, can you fucking stop? Yeah, yeah. The classic music's back. You sound like Little John. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Little John, you say. <laughs> Okay, okay, okay. 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 Okay, just keep moving. Oh, fuck. I hate this. I hate this. I hate this. Which usually means that I love it. When it comes to horror games, saying I hate it means I fucking love it. Get out, bitch! She doing a f she, she doing a fucking wave. Oh, Johnny boy. 
<laughs> Tits. Get her, get her, get her. Fuck her up, fuck her up, get her. Get her. Get her. Fuck, 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 fuck. Mortis. My poor dead priest friend is just sitting in the corner still. No, oh, that was close. Power of the Lord, power of the Lord, power of the Lord, power of the Lord. Okay, okay, okay. This part's fucking hard. Get him, get him, get him, yes! Come on, let that be it, Jesus Christ! This goes on so long! Ah! Ah! Oh, thank God! Oh, shit! Oh! That was so intense! The morning breaks. That took longer than I'd like to admit. John, I can't do this anymore. I'm sorry. I will always love you back. Karen. Karen left and took the kids? Really? Okay, just exercise all the rooms, especially the exercise room. I'm not going in there. Are you sure? It really looks like a room you should go into. John, it is not too late. Your soul can still be saved. All is not lost. Please wait for my next letter. For now, I have many questions that need answering. In the meantime, be careful. They are watching you, Father Garcia. Did I do it? I survived the nightmare. Hell yeah! But did I really do the right thing? I don't know what is real anymore. My face is weak, and I feel a dark shadow over me. Damn it. If I can save the boys, maybe I will find what I'm looking for. Oh, is that a bad ending? Oh shit, they're watching me! Secret Asian Priest is following me. Game over, ending two, Road to Redemption. That's not that bad. At least there is a road to redemption, I didn't get a 17 year old child murderer. Like in the first game. Does it just start you over again? Yeah. So not as... Because the last game, when I ended it, it would just put me back before the shotgun, so I was assuming that you could get a bunch of different endings from that point. But... This one seems like the endings come from the entire game, like you need to do a whole lot more and just replay the entire thing again to get a different ending. But that was awesome! That was so much better than the first chapter. They really refined the gameplay and added depth to the world and the lore and everything that was going on. I'm actually fascinated by it now. Uh, and all the stuff going on with the priests and stuff outside of the priesthood and we had a murderer down in the tunnels. God, that was so cool! Uh, there is a demo out for Faith Chapter 3 that I might play. I don't think it's very long and then we'll play Faith Chapter 3 whenever that actually comes out because these are really great games. I like these a lot. I think that these have so much potential um, and it being minimalistic really adds a lot to it. It's so weird and otherworldly at times. Like talking to characters and hearing that like, I try to do the right thing. It's, ah, oh, it's so, chills in my bones sometimes. Um, some of the final bosses get a little difficult. Not impossible to beat, it's just a lot of trial and error and do this again and again and again and again. And for me personally, I don't really like that. I like... Well, I guess the difficulty adds to the game, uh, otherwise it would just be over too quickly and you you do have to like vanquish out the demon, it is a long thing that you have to do and exercise them properly and exercise does not change the body immediately, it takes months and months of exercising to really get those demons out and get to the body that you want. <laughs> it's a double meaning. Um, but that was Faith Chapter 2, you can go check it out for yourselves with the links in the descriptions, go support the developers because they make really great stuff. And I'm excited for Faith Chapter 3 to come out. But until then, I'm going to leave you with a big, fat, sick Mortis. <laughs>
of Exercise the Demons.